Here's a quick update for you with no professional editing whatsoever that may justify my absence in YouTube. I'm moving to South Korea. Stick with me as I'll explain my future plans with this channel and therefore a tour of my game room. Saying goodbye to this lovely place and the place next to me that we've built with our hearts and souls. And if you're from Costa Rica, yes, I'm selling most of my stuff, so I'm attaching the catalog if you're interested in buying anything. I'm Leo S. Luna, a former writer, reviewer, and now be the producer on this YouTube channel. And for a long time, I've been in the process of moving out to a different country with my partner and my two cats, specifically Japan and South Korea. Again, this is going to be a very different video from what I used to do, which are video game essays, guides, and reviews. But I think it is important to tell my plans and what this channel will become in the future. If you didn't know, I'm from Costa Rica. This country, I mean, this country. Well, it doesn't look exactly like that, Spielberg. It's a somewhat stable place to live in with no army, good education, work opportunities, and lots of nature to behold. Well, kinda. It also has its downsides that I may reserve for myself for now. But I can say that it's been very tough for me to feel comfortable here. And also, I want to pursue my career somewhere else. A place where I can grow professionally, provide insightful interviews and a look of the lifestyle of one of the places I've been in love with for a while. I've always wanted to live abroad and right now I'm not planning to have kids at all. I don't have any debts. My blood family is pretty alright. All I have is my 30s, my knowledge, my gaming collection, and my new family to take care of. Aside from producing content, I earned a bachelor's degree in software engineering and worked in the corporate industry for more than six years. And I'm probably not counting my previous side jobs, of course. And while working, I was getting used to write articles in a popular Latin American blog called Taringa. In 2015, I created my own website called Sao Game Relea. That's where I learned how to make news articles, game guides, write reviews, produce podcasts, manage a website, develop it, etc, etc, etc. I mean, I work in the gaming industry for many years, but even still, it is hard for all of us out there, even in, these, in today's climate. Anyways, I left my conraps there with the website for themselves to continue my own projects as a video producer. I always love movies and editing is one of my passions. So I started producing these long format videos about video games. Again, it's pretty hard to make an income for video game journalism these days, unless you're in the elite club or really working your ass off on YouTube. But then of course, it wasn't enough. After COVID hit, I got laid off and burned out from my official last job saying goodbye to the corporate world. So I decided to give a one year break that I truly enjoyed. I was healing my wound, not from the outside, but here and here. I am notorious for suffering depression in the past, but I mean, who's to blame in today's uncertainty? I've fully committed to my YouTube channel, finished a lot of games like Elden Ring that was one hell of a ride, by the way. I went camping a lot with my partner, but I also knew I had to go back one day to Japan and South Korea. So I started resuming my programming skills because yeah, even if you're in the corporate world, you can lose a lot of skills because in those places you're reduced to be less creative and such. Then I updated my resume with Python, more web development while also learning a lot of editing skills. And as I explained in my previous video, things are not going well for the tech industry. It is very hard these days to get a job. At the same time, going back to a similar place where I wasn't comfortable was not part of my goals. Then the idea of moving out started to grow every day for us. I love traveling to Asia, specifically Korea and Japan. I was always amazed by the security and how clean the streets are, plus how easy it is as a pedestrian to reach places. That and of course the amount of influence countries like Japan and South Korea have contributed to technology, gaming and entertainment were strong reasons to think about living abroad. And the food is so delicious too. Anyways, we decided to simply go with the flow, study the language and find opportunities over there. Once I'm there, I promise to have so much more details, but for now I'll focus on moving out. So. What's going to change from this channel? 
I mean, nobody can predict the future, but I have to try once in a lifetime. So my channel goes with me. So far, I'll be producing the same content, making guides of the current consoles so you can enhance your game experience. I will produce game essays of titles I've been playing, but also I will have new sponsors of products that might be useful for you. What's going to change is maybe the footage I will produce considering the place we're going to live and I will start this new channel with my partner to talk more about our life in South Korea in slice of life topics. One thing that I can't achieve but I love to talk about is about modern reality, talking about the topics that surround us and finding out stories that may be interesting to you, whether it is in gaming or in life. Another important fact I'm going to tell you is that I love gaming and software engineering was not in the right spot for me in the corporate industry here. There are a lot of companies from the US very similar to how they work in the States, but most of them are related to service and outsourcing, and I honestly don't want to mainly work on that. I want to tell stories, whether it is creating YouTube videos, films, or even video games. So where I'm going is going to help me on building my career and have a master's degree in art. So I'm also interested in AI, but not in the way these investors are doing in Silicon Valley. So in general, I wanted to say that I will stick with all of you providing opinions and guides of the current topics of gaming and probably life and travel with another channel. Feel free to follow me in this wonderful journey. I'm not sure if it's going to land exactly as I'm picturing it, but I promise you it will not be disappointed. And if you're in the same place that I was, please keep pushing your dreams to the limit, as long as it doesn't hurt your principles and other principles as well. Do not let others affect your journey. If you want me to make guides or talk to any specific topic happening right now in the video game guild, just let me know in the comments. For now, I recommend you to watch my video essay about the state of video games and how much has changed for the better or worse, because it has changed a lot. So when will I start living in South Korea? That will be on June 2nd. Part of that will leave with me and others will stay in Costa Rica. I'll make sure to find interesting topics to talk about related to gaming over there. But for now, please follow me and check out my old game room and house so you can get to know me better. Take care.